Well, people will tell you it's not what you say to a dog that counts, it's just how you say it. But now researchers say that dogs respond to much more than just your tone of voice. They say that brain scans now confirm that canines can understand most of what you're saying. Michelle Miller is in Washington Square Park for us, a popular spot for dogs and owners here in New York. With more, Michelle, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, science claims to have proven what dog owners have long taken for granted, that man's best friend not only listens, but actually understands what's being said, which could mean that dogs are not only smarter than we think they are, but their relationship with their humans could be far more complex. Run. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Ask any dog owner and they'll tell you their dog usually does what it's told, especially if you say it nicely. Ready, Griffin? Dance. Yeah. But a team of Hungarian researchers have taken what's always been assumed one step further, saying they proved that dogs actually understand a lot more than we think. The regulars like sit, stay, come here. When we're walking, I always say wait. The experiment had counted on the cooperation of 13 dogs, a group comprised mainly of border collies and golden retrievers. They were trained to lie still for seven minutes during a functional MRI scan. Wearing headphones, the dogs listened as trainers combined phrases with different intonations. Brain scans revealed that like humans, dogs processed words with the left side of their brains and used the right side to process pitch. Alexandra Horowitz is the author of Being a Dog, published by Simon & Schuster, a division of CBS. What did this study teach us that we didn't already know? This study showed that there's actually a division in the dog's brain between meaning and sound. So they're hearing the pitch of what we say, but they're also attending at some level to the meaning and especially to familiar words. The results also showed that dogs only recognize praise if both words and tone were positive. Unfamiliar words spoken in a neutral tone didn't have the same effect, meaning the dogs weren't easily tricked. What this study indicates is that they notice that your intonation is positive, but that what you're saying doesn't quite match it because the rest of your behavior doesn't jive with having a real happy, rewarding voice. For dog owners like Lee Cannon, the reward is knowing his four-legged friend is one he can talk to about anything at all. I wouldn't be surprised if Nancy started talking English to me like every day. Like I wouldn't be surprised at all. So I. Like, it just seems natural, seems normal. Now, critics of uh, this, this research say that, you know, a lot more tests need to be conducted before any conclusions are made. But uh, just to be on the safe side, a word to the wise, I should say, the next time you talk in that cute little voice to say, like, Henry or one of your furry little friends, <laughs> you better mean it. Right, Nora? Right, Michelle. Yeah. Really uh -huh. good point. Oh, yeah. Cute dog, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. Right. But can they write the great American novel? That's what I want to know. Josh. <laughs> it's not, it's about just loving. It it's is. about friendship, right? Yes, it yeah. Is. It yeah. is. At least feeling that you're understood, uh, I think, is one of, the, one of the main that's points. That's the most important thing. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you so much, Michelle. That was fun.